Ministry of Home Affairs issues order to states and union territories to allow opening of certain categories of shops, except those in single and multi-brand malls. Relaxations and lockdown restrictions would not be applicable in hotspots and containment zones. Mandatory for all permitted shops to open only with 50% strength of the workers. Ensure compulsory wearing of masks and strict adherence to social distancing norms. Prime Minister Narendra Modi gives mantra of villages and states becoming strong, self-sufficient and self-reliant to make democracies stronger. Says Do Gaj Duri is the rural India's mantra to fight COVID-19. Launches integrated e-Gram Swaraj portal and integrated Swamitva scheme. <laughs> No new COVID-19 case reported from 80 districts in the last 14 days. NCDC says COVID growth rate reduced due to timely lockdown. 9.45 lakh people put on disease surveillance system. Active coronavirus cases in India rise to 17,915 with 723 fatalities and 4,813 recoveries. Home Ministry constitutes four more inter-ministerial central teams for Ahmedabad, Surat, Hyderabad and Chennai. Clarifies misplaced apprehensions of industry associations regarding legal liability on company CEOs if employees found COVID-19 positive. Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwadhan reviews measures taken and progress made to tackle coronavirus with health ministers of states and union territories and senior officials of the health ministry. Expresses satisfaction at reducing doubling rates to nine days. Says mortality and recovery rate is also better than many countries across the world. Results of limited trials of plasma therapy begin showing positive results in selected hospitals across the country. Encouraging initial results give a ray of hope to seriously ill COVID-19 patients. ICMR recently allowed states to start clinical trials. Global cases of COVID-19 continue to spiral up with nearly 27.9 lakh confirmed cases and 1.95 lakh deaths. WHO announces landmark collaboration to speed development of safe, effective drugs, tests and vaccines to prevent, diagnose and treat COVID-19. And holy month of Ramzan begins and amidst coronavirus pandemic, President, Vice President and Prime Minister greet people on the occasion. Prime Minister says, may this holy month bring with it abundance of kindness, harmony and compassion. May we achieve a decisive victory in the ongoing battle against COVID-19 and create a healthier planet. Good morning. You're watching DD News and I'm Preeti presenting the bulletin. Our top story first. The government has allowed opening of all shops in residential complexes and market complexes except shops in multi-brand and single brand malls outside the limit of municipal corporations and municipalities with 50% strength of the workers with wearing of masks. And on the occasion of the National Panchayati Raj Day, that, is, that was yesterday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with many Gram Panchayat representatives, applauding the village-level Pradhans and Panchayat members for their grit in fighting COVID-19 outbreak. Prime Minister said that the biggest lesson the pandemic has taught India is to become self-reliant. Prime Minister also launched a unified e-Gram Swaraj portal and a mobile app, as well as the Swamitva scheme for development of rural India. Corona संकट ने हमें सिखाया है हमें आत्मनिर्भर बनना ही पड़ेगा पंचायती राज दिवस गांव तक तुराज पहुंचाने के हमारे संकल्प को दोहराने का एक अवसर हो मजबूत पंचायतें आत्मनिर्भर गांव का भी आधार in this hour of crisis, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's message of becoming self-reliant to the countrymen 
will encourage the 130 crore Indians. When the whole world is in the grip of the coronavirus and even developed nations are unable to overcome its spread, self-sufficient becomes an imperative to survive. Prime Minister said that every Gram Sabha, every block and every district needs to be self-reliant for its basic needs. Be it a lockdown when transportation of goods is difficult or the need for PPE kits, test kits, masks or sanitizers, COVID-19 has given a clear message of self-reliance. Prime Minister Modi hailed the slogan of Do Gaj Dehe Ki Duri, often heard in villages. He said it illustrates the inherent wisdom of rural India. इस मंत्र के पालन पर गांवों ने बहुत अद्भुत काम किया। The Prime Minister launched the e-Gram Swaraj portal and mobile app to prepare and plan Gram Panchayat development plans. He said that the portal will ensure real-time monitoring and accountability. The portal is a major step towards digitizing the Gram Panchayats. The Swamitva scheme was also launched to map rural inhabited lands using drone technology. The Prime Minister stressed that the scheme will ensure streamlined planning and provide transparency in land records. E-Gram Swaraj, yani Simplified Work-Based Accounting Application for Panchayati Raj. This is one way to Gram Panchayati Raj Sampoon Digitally Karan Ki Taraf Ek Bada Kadam Hai. स्वामित्व योजना से गांव के लोगों को एक नहीं अनेक लाभ होंगे पहला तो यह कि प्रॉपर्टी को लेकर जो भ्रम की स्थिति रहती है वो दूर हो जाएगी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपील द पीपल रिसाइडिंग इन द रूरल एरियाज टू डाउनलोड एंड यूज आरोग्य सेतु ऐप ही आस द ग्राम पंचायत मेंबर्स to ensure that every person in their panchayat downloads the app. PM Modi also remembered Mahatma Gandhi's conception of Swaraj, which is being based on Gram Swaraj, which can be achieved by collective efforts. He also asked all panchayat members to spread awareness and provide correct information on treatment and prevention of coronavirus to every person. Bureau report, DD India. And we also a little earlier told you how Prime Minister interacted with several Panchayati Raj representatives on the National Panchayati Raj Day. It was a salute to the efforts of villagers and their leaders as many of them have been playing a stellar role these, in these times uh, when uh, the entire country is battling COVID-19. Here are just a handful of examples from different corners of the country. Let's take a look. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call for a nationwide lockdown to battle coronavirus has evoked wholehearted response even in rural areas. In Kalewadi village in Maharashtra's Pune, people are ensuring they follow all the guidelines, whether it is queuing up at a distance from each other while stopping for groceries or prohibiting entry of visitors into the village. social distance या गांव में पानी का यहां पे हमने वाटर सिस्टम बनाया है उधर पानी के लिए भी सोशल डिस्टेंस रख के हम यहां पे गांव वाले सब काम करते इन गुंटूर इन आंध्र प्रदेश 25 फैमिलीज हु वंस अर्न देयर लाइवलीहुड बाय रीसेलिंग प्लास्टिक एंड एल्युमिनियम वेस्ट कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम डंप यार्ड्स आर फाइंडिंग ऑल देयर नीड्स मेट बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स हु आर प्रोवाइडिंग देम विद फ्री राशन ऑफ राइस दाल एंड ऑयल डिस्पाइट नॉट हैविंग राशन कार्ड्स ऑफ देयर ओन not just this, ever since they were confined to their homes, once the lockdown began, they have been provided necessary medicines and regular health checkups. On behalf of government, we are helping poor people living in urban areas, especially those who are residing in the outer part of the city. We are providing them all the essential items. We are confined to our home ever since the pandemic started. The government is providing us rice and vegetables regularly. We are being taken care of. Government officials are creating awareness. 
In Bihar's Begusarai, these Karuna warriors are fighting day and night to help and feed the elderly and provide relief to laborers. Among them is Rajnikant Pathak, who spends his entire day going door to door serving meals to the hungry and destitute in the most backward areas. To him, serving the needy in this time of crisis is his mission. उनमें से अधिकांश परिवार ऐसे हैं जिनके पास राशन कार्ड तक नहीं है इसलिए साईं के रसोई परिवार ने ये निर्णय लिया कि इन लोगों को एक साथ हुए एक साथ इन 400 परिवारों को राशन उपलब्ध कराया जाए These are just a few instances but across the country people are joining hands reaching out to help others as they follow new norms in these changed times News Night Desk DD News and up next, we'll get to the COVID-19 update in India. As of the latest Health Ministry data, the country has recorded a total of 20,452 positive cases, which includes 17,915 active cases, 4,814 COVID-19 patients fully recovered and were discharged, and the death toll stood at 723. Maharashtra continues to remain uh, the worst hit state in the total number of infected cases, followed by Gujarat. Delhi occupies the third position with more than 2,300 positive cases. Seven states, including Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, have crossed the 1,000 mark. Apart from six interministerial central teams constituted earlier, the Home Ministry constituted four additional interministerial central teams, each headed by an additional secretary-level officer to Ahmedabad, Surat, Hyderabad and Chennai. Today, Grihya Mantralai has four other interministerial central teams, which are Ahmedabad, Surat, Hyderabad and Chennai. ये टीमें भी भारत सरकार के एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी लेवल अधिकारियों द्वारा लीड की जा रही हैं। इनमें पब्लिक हेल्थ के स्पेशलिस्ट और डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट के स्पेशलिस्ट हैं। the union government has clarified that no legal action will be taken against the CEO of a company nor a factory will be sealed in case an employee tests positive for COVID-19. The government also said that the consolidated revised guidelines for the lockdown should not be misused by anyone to harass the management of any manufacturing or commercial establishment. The Ministry of Home Affairs on 15th of April had issued an order to exempt certain activities under the consolidated revised guidelines to fight COVID-19 in certain areas not included in hotspots and containment zones. In April, there is no need to be able to do this in the past. It is necessary that all workplaces, industries, और कमर्शियल एस्टैब्लिशमेंट्स में राष्ट्रीय निर्देश स्टैंडर्ड हेल्थ प्रोटोकॉल सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग आदि का पूरी तरह से अनुपालन हो Meanwhile, the number of districts where no case has been reported in the last 14 days has increased to 80. In 36 districts, there has been no case for the last 28 days. The recovery rate has also seen an upward trend. 20.75% is the new rate of recovery of corona patients. Our recovery rate is approximately 20.57%. In this way, in the past 28 days, there is no case from the past 28 days. There is also a increase in the past 28 days. In this case, the case of the past 15 days is 15. And the new case has been added in Chhattisgarh, Durg, Rajnandgaon and Madhya Pradesh. Now, the total of 80 districts in the country has come from the past 20 days. लेकिन पिछले 14 दिनों से वहां पर कोई केस नहीं आया है And Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan also chaired a meeting with Minister of State Ashwini Chaube and a senior officials of the ministry. They reviewed the measures and the progress made by the country. During the meeting, the Union Health Minister expressed satisfaction that doubling rate of the cases in the country is at around nine days. Our mortality and recovery rate is better than many countries across the world. The total number of cases in the country has crossed the 23,000 mark. आज हमारा डबलिंग रेट भी वो नौ के आसपास है सारे देश को हमने उन जिलों में बांटा है जहां कोई केस नहीं हुआ है हमने उन हॉटस्पॉट्स में बांटा है जहां पंद्रह से ज्यादा या पंद्रह से कम केसेस हैं और हमने उन नॉन हॉटस्पॉट्स में भी बांटा है डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में जहां कि एक आध दो तीन केसेस हैं आज भले ही कोई स्थानों पर केसेस के नंबर बढ़ रहे हों, 
लेकिन हम इस बीमारी को कंट्रोल करने के लिए एकदम बेहतर स्थिति में है Around 5 lakh tests have been conducted in the country. India now has nearly 350 private plus government labs. The union minister also reassured that if there is any defective PPE kit that India has purchased from abroad, it will be returned. There is also an increase in PPE and N5 N95 masks uh, being manufactured in the country. <coughs> पीपीईज एन नाइन्टी फाइव मास्क आने वाले समय में वेंटिलेटर्स जो नेसेसरी दवाइयाँ हैं उन सब के बारे में हम लोगों ने अपनी स्थितियों को पहले से बहुत ज़्यादा सुधार लिया है पीपीई किट जो कि हमारे देश में बनता नहीं था ये हमारे लिए ब्लेसिंग इन डिस्गाइज हो गया है कि अब इस समय सौ से ज़्यादा मैन्युफैक्चरर्स जो है भारत के अंदर इसके लिए तैयार हो गए हैं एक दिन में लगभग एक लाख से ज्यादा पीपीई किट्स और एक लाख से ज्यादा एन नाइन्टी फाइव मास्क का वही हम भारत में बना रहे हैं And up next, we'll tell you how plasma therapy is being taken forward in the country to help coronavirus infected persons recover from the infection. Plasma extracted from the blood of a coronavirus recovered person is administered to another infected person in a way to transfer the antibodies that fight the virus from the blood of the recovered patient to the one who is still infected. It is giving hope to many in the country who are suffering severe effects of the disease at the present moment. Indian Council of Medical Research recently allowed states to start clinical trials of plasma therapy. The idea behind this therapy is that immunity can be transferred from a healthy person to a sick patient using convalescent plasma. Convalescent plasma therapy is still in experimental stage. In the plasma therapy, antibodies from the blood of a patient who has recovered from COVID-19 are used to treat serious patients. People who have fully recovered from coronavirus can save lives of people by donating their plasma. In the plasma therapy, donor plays an important role. Plasma is extracted from the blood as our doctors often do it in case of dengue patients. Ahmedabad Sardar Vallabhai Patel Hospital is one of the first in the country to start plasma therapy on COVID-19 patients. Fluid part जो होता है उसको plasma बोलते हैं। उसके अंदर antibodies develop होते हैं। वो antibodies अगर हम patient को देते हैं तो वो उसका बचाने का काम कर सकता है। तो वो थेरापी है जो प्लाज्मा की जो पेशेंट को बचाने वाला है उसको प्लाज्मा थेरापी बोलते हैं प्लाज्मा में हम सिर्फ प्लाज्मा लेते हैं बाकी का ब्लड पेशेंट डोनर को वापस चढ़ा देते हैं सो फार प्लाज्मा थेरापी हैज शोन पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट्स एंड इफ प्रूवन राइट इट मे बी अ ह्यूज सक्सेस इन फाइट अगेंस्ट कोरोना वायरस द सेंटर हैज गिवन अ गो हेड टू फ्यू स्टेट्स फॉर प्लाज्मा थेरापी ऑन लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ कोविड-19 पेशेंट्स Kerala, Gujarat, Punjab have also started using plasma therapy to cure COVID-19 patients. This is a very recent concept of plasma therapy. And these COVID-19 patients are in the category 3, who are in the ICU, who are in the ventilators, who are in the hospital, who are in the hospital, who are in the hospital. Delhi government has also decided to conduct plasma therapy on three more patients at Loknayak Jayaprakash Narayan Hospital in the next few days. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has said that plasma therapy trial conducted on four COVID-19 patients here has yielded very encouraging initial results, giving a ray of hope to seriously ill coronavirus patients. With Bureau inputs, Devashi Varatoria, DD India. India has developed indigenous production of low-cost testing kit with 100% specificity and also sensitivity. Now the real-time PCR-based probe-free kit validated by the ICMR, the apex medical research body of the country. The detective assay has been developed by the IIT Delhi research team and it comprises of post-doctorates and professors. The 10-member research team has successfully identified <clears throat> the unique regions in the genetic material of the virus which were not present in its earlier variants. Further, the diagnostic assay uses the fluorescent dyes instead of fluorescent probe which helps to scale down the price of the kit. In Maharashtra's Aurangabad, factories in Waluj industrial estate have gradually started their operations after receiving the requisite permission from the MIDC. The number of other industries, including the Bajaj Group, have started operations after a month of lockdown. The factory is working with workers living nearby the Waluj industry area. No worker is allowed to travel from cities as there are, there are hotspots of COVID-19 in the city. 
The required permissions were granted on Thursday and the work began on Friday in two shifts. Social distancing will be observed while working as well as in the canteen. The two shifts are spaced one hour apart so that the workers do not come into contact. Only 20 workers will be transported in one bus. Workers have expressed happiness as they started their work in the industries. The worldwide death toll from coronavirus pandemic crossed 1,95,900 with nearly two-thirds of the fatalities in Europe only. A total of 1,95,920 people have died and 27,90,986 have been infected since the virus emerged in China in December. The country with the most number of deaths is the United States with 51,017, followed by Italy with 25,969. Spain, in Spain, the figures are standing at 22,500. 24 in France 22245 and in Britain the number is 19506 the death toll due to the raging coronavirus pandemic in the US crossed the 51000 mark now, according to the John Hopkins University 51 people have lost their lives across the US while 892524 have been infected Meanwhile, many states, including Georgia, Oklahoma, and Alaska, began loosening the lockdown orders on Friday on their businesses, despite warnings from healthcare experts that the gradual steps towards normalcy might be happening too soon. Also in the United Kingdom, close to 20,000 people have died in hospitals after testing positive for the virus. Amidst relentless rising death toll, people only hope that Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who himself spent three nights in the ICU battling COVID-19 earlier this month, would soon get back. Whenever Prime Minister Johnson does return, he will face the conundrum of how to come out of a lockdown that is destroying swaths of the economy while avoiding a deadly second wave of infections. Over 1.44 lakh people have been infected with coronavirus in the United Kingdom while 19,566 have died and 721 have recovered. And up next, we'll take a look at the Europe COVID-19 update. France has meanwhile registered a total of 22,245 deaths so far due to the pandemic, while 1,59,495 people have been infected across the country. In Italy, Deaths from COVID-19 epidemic climbed by 420 on Friday. Now, this is the smallest daily tally since March 19th, but the country continues to witness increase in the number of new infections, which rose to 3,021 from 2,646 on Thursday. A total of fatalities since the outbreak came to light on February 21st now stands at 25,969. Now, this is the second highest in the world after that of the United States. The number of confirmed cases was 1.92 lakh. This is the third highest global tally behind that of United States and Spain. India and the United Arab Emirates reviewed the global fight against coronavirus pandemic. India and UAE on Friday discussed and reviewed the global fight against COVID-19 with special emphasis on Asia and the two nations' efforts to combat the novel virus. The Emirates news agency reported that External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar and Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nayan, UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, agreed on the importance of accelerating coronavirus containment efforts and to resume flights between the two friendly countries as soon as possible. Emirates News Agency also said that Sheikh Abdullah hailed the precautionary measures taken by India to bring the infection under control. The economic and trade relations between the UAE and India are steadily growing and have not been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic thanks to the continued coordination between the two friendly nations regarding the crisis. Uh, this is according to the statement issued by UAE government. It also stated that Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nayan, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, has reaffirmed UAE's determination to foster the long-standing partnership ties between UAE and India 
in various fields. The external affairs minister from his Twitter handle had earlier said that he had spoken to the leaders in Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Oman and exchanged views and experiences on the current situation of the virus. To his Qatar counterpart, the EAM, that is External Affairs Minister, thanked him for taking care of the Indian community. Such challenging times will only further strengthen our friendship, he tweeted. To the Oman Foreign Minister, the External Affairs Minister thanked for taking care of the Indian community there. As trusted partners, he assured him of India's support in the collective fight against coronavirus. With HH Prince Faisal, that, who is the finance, uh, Foreign Minister of Saudi Arabia, the External Affairs Minister in a tweet said that he thanked him for taking care of the Indian community there. Discussed our shared interests in ensuring health and food security, India will remain a reliable partner. And Ramzan, the Islamic month of prayers and fasting, begins from today in India amidst a lockdown in force due to the coronavirus pandemic. President Ramnath Kovind has greeted citizens on Ramzan and hoped that the pious month of fasting will inspire all to be compassionate and kind towards others, especially the needy ones. The president said, and I quote him, on this occasion, let us resolve to defeat COVID-19 through our collective determination and discipline. Vice President M. Venkai and I do also extended greetings to the countrymen on the beginning of the holy month of Ramzan. The Vice President in a tweet said, and I quote him, This year's Ramzan comes at a time when the whole world is fighting a battle against the spread of coronavirus on several fronts. He urged people to stay at home in view of the nationwide lockdown. He also asked citizens to pray for the well-being of the entire world in view of the coronavirus pandemic. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi also extended wishes for Ramzan and prayed for a healthier planet. Taken to Twitter, Prime Minister also hoped to achieve a decisive victory in the ongoing battle against COVID-19. He said, Ramzan Mubarak, I pray for everyone's safety, well-being and prosperity. May this holy month bring with it abundance of kindness, harmony and compassion. We, may we achieve a decisive victory in the ongoing battle against COVID-19 and create a healthier planet. On that note of optimism and positivity, we'll end this bulletin here. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.